that the gunshot wound, a fatal wound inflicted on the President of the United States, entered at the base of the throat and came out at the base of the neck on uh, the back side. CBS News correspondent Bob Pierpoint has been at the Parkland Hospital here in Dallas from just a few moments after the time of President Kennedy arrived at the hospital and Governor John Connolly arrived at the hospital. We expect to have Bob Pierpoint in the studio here with us very shortly. A briefing session for newsmen is anticipated at Parkland Hospital at any moment. Uh, Pierre Salinger, the presidential press secretary, presumably will preside over that briefing session. We hope to bring you that uh, briefing session either live from the hospital or on film. At that time, a good deal of the uh, confusion about exactly what happened along the motorcade route uh, here in Dallas at the time President Kennedy was shot and killed should be cleared up. That briefing session we expect to have in a few minutes. Also on the air very shortly, we are hopeful of having some film taken at the Dallas airport at the time of President Kennedy's arrival. Also, CBS News cameraman from Washington, Tommy Cravens, was in the motorcade uh, less than 50 yards from President Kennedy when the shooting occurred. Uh, cameraman Cravens' film is uh, on the premises at the time, at this time, being processed. We hope to have that film for you very sh shortly. What it will show, uh, cameraman Cravens was not a, at all certain. The, there is some confusion as to whether a Secret Service man also was killed at the time of the shooting. There has been no official confirmation of any Secret Service man being killed, although there are widespread reports, including one from the Dallas Police Department, that a Secret Service man was killed at the same time President Kennedy and Texas Governor John Connolly were shot. The latest word from the hospital on uh, Texas Governor Connolly was that Governor Connolly was in the operating room and had been uh, seriously, if not critically, wounded. That was the last official word that we had from the Dallas Parkland Hospital. As you may know by this time, President Kennedy was shot as he took part in a motorcade which was driving him to the Dallas Trademark, which is a, a big meeting center located just a short way from downtown Dallas. The announcement that the president had been shot was not made at that meeting center until approximately a half hour after the president arrived at the hospital. There was a great deal of, of grief immediately at the uh, center. There was a great deal of disbelief. In fact, uh, switchboards all over Dallas, if anything resembling a public information source, are still completely swamped with callers who uh, apparently refuse to believe that John F. Kennedy has been shot and killed. There have been a number of uh, suspects arrested by Dallas police, Dallas County Sheriff's officers. One of the suspects was a 25-year-old white youth. He was the first one arrested. He was in the vicinity of a multi-story building. Uh, near the scene where President Kennedy and Texas Governor Connolly were shot. On the fourth or fifth floor, it has never been completely determined on which floor, of that building, four empty cars. We have the first films taken in the motorcade just after the assassination shots were heard. Dan Rather has that story in Dallas, Texas. We are now going to run the films which were taken first at the Dallas airport. These are the films of then Vice President Lyndon Johnson and his wife, Lady Bird Johnson, at the Dallas International Airport as they arrived this morning from Fort Worth. Here is the late President John F. Kennedy and Mrs. Kennedy coming down the ramp at the Dallas airport. These films were taken slightly less than an hour and a half before President Kennedy was shot and killed in a motorcade in downtown Dallas. The usual receiving line, of course, a number of Dallas dignitaries and a lady who said that she had waited for 69 years to meet a president. Mrs. Kennedy had been given a bouquet of roses at the Dallas International Airport as a token of affection from the city of Dallas. President Kennedy had looked particularly hale and hearty on this Texas trip. We saw him Monday in Florida and a number of the White House reporters remarked that he was looking more physically fit than he had at any time over the past year and a half or two years. This is part of the motorcade from the Dallas airport toward the downtown area. Shots taken just before the shooting occurred. This is Dallas's Parkland Hospital where President Kennedy was taken after being mortally wounded. 
The president reported he was alive when he reached the hospital, but he died a short time after arriving at the hospital. Some efforts were made when the presidential party first arrived at the hospital to keep pictures from being taken. The roses that Mrs. Kennedy had carried earlier were on the back seat of the automobile in which the president was shot. Now, these are scenes at a building across the street from the scene where President Kennedy was shot. Police immediately rang this building. It's believed that the assassin was in that, this same building on either the fourth or fifth floor. Some entry cottages have been found in that building. Witnesses said they believe three or four shots were fired. Four empty cartridges were found in the building which had been ringed by police. A number of suspects were picked up immediately. Practically anyone in the area who even gave a hint of looking suspicious was picked up. Considerable confusion in the immediate vicinity. Right there was the spot where the president was shot. This is part of the police contingent arriving to surround the building. Police thought they might be able to catch the assassin still in the building. They were unsuccessful in that. Police were heavily armed. They ringed not only the building, but about a three-block area around this building, which, as I say, is located directly across from where the president was shot. This is practically the spot on the street where the president was shot. These pictures were taken just after the president had been taken to a hospital. Police made a systematic search of the building. They found no weapon. Up there on the fourth or fifth floor, perhaps out of one of those open windows, is where the assassin of President Kennedy is believed to have fired the fatal shots. We have no further information as yet from the hospital on the condition of Texas Governor John Connolly, who was riding with President Kennedy and who also was critically wounded. Our last report from Parkland Hospital was that Governor Connolly was in the operating room, that he was still alive, but was uh, in critical condition. Walter, you mentioned a short uh, while ago that it was difficult to understand why we had not been appraised of the whereabouts of Lyndon Johnson, who will, of course, uh, step up to the presidency in light of the tragic death today of John 